Hello everyone, welcome to Rushmere 3D, I'm James. So, I haven't made a video in uh, quite some time, but I've been doing some live streams. So, you should definitely check those out on my channel. But today, we're going to be taking a look at a print surface by a company called OSEC. So, OSEC were kind enough to send me uh, a couple of their print surfaces. They're called the Safe Sheet. Uh, they've sent me the 120 millimeter version, which fits nicely <laughs> on the Voron V0. So yeah, we're going to have a look at those today. So let's roll the intro and get into it. Okay, so let's have a look at the safe sheet from OSEC. So before I get into um, opening the package, I just want to say that um, I don't really make review videos um, for products. I've done a few videos where I've had uh, specifically about a product. Uh, and the problem is everyone uses things in different ways and has different expectations. So really all this video is gonna do to show you how I've used it, how it's performed for me. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit on a couple of things that I think they could do to make the sheet a little bit better. Um, but ultimately, it's just to show you how it works for me. Um, you should definitely always seek out uh, multiple opinions before making a purchase. Um, so hopefully, the things that I show you in this video are of help to you. So yeah, let's have a look at it. So, uh, I, as I say, I actually got uh, two sheets uh, and they came in individually wrapped in these bubble wrap bags and then in a outer cardboard bag, uh, cardboard box. Um, so let's just have a look what this sheet actually looks like. So in the box we get, or in the packet, sorry, we get um, just some very basic instructions. Uh, and basically the the main instruction before you use it is to give it a good clean before you use it because it's obviously just been in this packet straight from manufacturer or straight from being made um, and what they're saying is basically use 95% or higher isopropyl alcohol and specifically do not use acetone or any sort of petrol um, and that's basically just to First of all, not to use those things to damage anything, but to give it a clean and IPA, just get any manufacturing oils or dust or anything like that off. So that's the, the one piece of information you get on that sheet. And then the actual sheet um, looks like this. So it's, um, what I'll do is I'll just focus that for you so we can see that that is in, in focus. So it's, a textured sheet but it's not uh, an aggressive texture like you may have seen on some um, like of the gold typically the texture sheets are gold and that's the PEI so basically what this um, this is their formulation of whatever they put on their surface um, got their branding on OSEC or safe sheet by OSEC and then the size in this top corner so if we just get a ruler and measure this sheet, so it is 120 um, in the width, but the length is an overall length of 1300, or sorry, not 1300, um, 130. So basically that means that you'll have a space at the front to be able to lift the plate off. Um, it has this red, at the moment it's dark red because this sheet is cold and it says hot surface and basically what happens when you start heating the bed on your printer this will turn a bright red to sort of indicate that it's uh, a now hot plate and you should be careful i i think that's where the safe sheet um brand comes from or the branding so that's basically what that sheet looks like so basically what i did is i used this printer with a safe sheet in 
to print parts for the printer that's behind me, pink one. So basically, it's done several ABS prints uh, and ASA prints, um, and they've all performed really well. So I think the the key thing I should say when using this um, print surface is to get your first layer squish right. That's that is the main thing to have success. And that's the same with any print surface, it's not unique to this. But too much squish or not enough will result in a failure. So it's finding that Goldilocks zone that works just right. Now I've not up till now had much success with textured surfaces and ABS. Um, they've never really stuck really well on the corners. Um, after several attempts at getting a, a good first layer and what looks like a good layer, you know, an hour, hour and a half into the print, they would lift off. So what I would normally do is use a smooth surface PEI, a standard PEI sheet with some glue stick, and that works a treat. However, with this, I wanted to really test it and give it, um, give it a run for its money and basically say, well, you know, I don't need, I don't want to put anything else on here. And at, at the moment, touch wood, I've not used any other adhesive um, helper. It has basically just worked straight away. Um, everything is stuck really well. So a lot of the Voron parts are obviously um, relatively high infill, I mean, well, 40% plus, um, several perimeters. So the parts are relatively dense, which means there can be um, a, a lot of cooling of the part going on as you get higher up um, because you're, you're obviously moving the hot end away and so the plastic's cooling down. But I've not found any problems with any warping of the corners or anything like that. So I'm really happy uh, about how it's performed with ASA and ABS. I've also done a few tests with PLA just to, to give it that variation. And again, it's worked really well. So I still actually do have the sheet in the Voron V0. It's actually in, now in the, the pink one because I'm uh, using the other V0 for another print sheet. But they've performed, it's performed really well and it will stay in the printer and be continually used. I would just say, just make sure you clean it uh, before prints and you might be able to see it, um, if I can show you. So here, uh, you can see these darker spots. So this actually shows up the oils that you would have on your fingers um, and that's sort of contaminating the sheet. So you can see I barely touched it and we've got a bit of a mark there. So this is really good at showing that and showing that you need to give it a clean. So just to make sure it's, going to work optimally so that's basically how I've been using it now I wasn't sure whether to have some prints to show you or um, how to illustrate that it works I had watched previous sort of um, build sheet um, review videos and a lot of them do like very steep overhanged prints and stuff like that and to be honest I didn't want to do that because I don't see that as being a realistic use of the of the print surface. I mean, you might say that a small area is more likely to come off, but I would also say a small area is less likely to come off because you're not getting that dramatic um, temperature difference of of uh, the whole layer of the bottom part. And I might be wrong, but. That's my logic behind why I didn't do those sort of prints. I literally printed functional uh, ABS Voron V0 parts and they all performed really well. Um, I will put a picture up here, hopefully, in editing that does show you a print that is done at a 45 degree angle and which was part of the parts printing for the V0 just to show that it does in fact work with um, small contact areas, but for me, it was the larger ABS parts that I wanted to print and see how that performed, uh, and it performed really well. 
Okay, so now that I've um, spoke about the sheet uh, and how I've used it and how it's been performing for me, which is really well, uh, there's a couple of things that I did sort of pick up that I would like to see uh, a slight change if if OSEC uh, ever did do a slight revision to their sheet. And it's nothing to do with the actual surface itself. As I said, the surface has worked really well. It's more of a quality of life thing for putting the sheet on the printer. So <clears throat> as we saw earlier, when I measured the sheet, it's exactly 120 millimeters wide. Now the problem is, when you're putting this into um, a printer, some printers don't have anything at the back of the bed to stop it. So you, you basically have to try and line this up at an angle to stop the magnet from obviously pulling it down. And because it's only exactly 120 millimeters wide, you have to sort of be quite careful about how you get that. It's not a very one step process. And of course, as I said, that you want to touch it as, as little as possible to get stop those oils getting on there. So that I would have two suggestions for OSEC. Um, so this is a, a sheet that came with the FISEC kit. And you'll notice that these there's these two um, indents at the back. So what these do is they actually locate on two screws that are on the back of the bed, which means that it's a very simple um, slide back into those um, recesses and drop down. And the bed is in the, the same place every time you do it, and it just fits on really well. Now, I understand the problem with doing sort of indents at the back is that some each manufacturer might do their bed a little bit differently. So you're gonna struggle to match everyone. So my suggestion would be to actually make the sheet just a little bit wider um, and if you were to have anything at the back, you could have a similar um, idea by having just basically a longer sort of channel. So you have maybe two small tabs on the side and then a larger gap in the middle so that you're, you've got a lot of choice or a lot of compatibility with putting it in bed with things at the back. If you didn't do that and just made it slightly wider, it would just be easier to locate on a 120 millimeter bed. So that was really my only sort of criticism, or not a criticism, but a, a, a an area that could be changed to make it work a bit better. Um, so yeah, so after having, you know, put the print, put the print surface through, basically the whole parts list for a V0, in ABS and ASA, I'm really happy with how it performed. Um, there'll be a link in the description to the OSEC website. There's no affiliate link or anything like that, so it's just you can go and have a look, see what's available. Um, I know they did in the list, literally in the last day or so, posted a sort of a teaser photo of a slight cosmetic change. I think they've put some sort of the the safe sheet. Um, red part sort of accents down the side but fundamentally I believe that they're the same print surface and you'll get the same performance um, out of it um, so yeah so that's really my thoughts on the OSEC safe sheet um, it's done really well for me uh, I've got uh, another printer that I'm going to be printing the parts for and I may well put both OSEC sheets into use in the V0, in the V0s to print some more ABS parts. Um, and they'll be on my social media, links in the description for all of that as well. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you've got any comments uh, about the OSEC sheet and, or if there's anything you'd like me to do as a test and that I can post either in the community tab or on social media, please let me know. Um, you can give this video a thumbs up, pop along to a live stream. They sort of a little bit uh, sporadic, but normally on a Sunday uh, sort of afternoon UK time. Um, that'd be good to see you and have a chat. So yeah, thanks for coming along and I'll see you in the next one.